So this is our onboard telegraph. This is the one from our engine control room. A little bit of a push of this equipment. This massive engine will start to run and will throw a thousands of horsepower. And will start delivering millions of dollars of cargoes. That's why it acts as the accelerator of this engine. It can be pushed ahead and astern. And each command has an equivalent of RPM. But what if, after pushing the lever, the main engine did not follow? So that's the one we are going to fix in this video. we have five control points for the main engine the one in bridge control console individual control on both bridge wing control consoles The local control panel beside main engine but this one doesn't have the lever and the fifth one is the one in engine control console which is having a problem today for me the hardest part of fixing a trouble is where to start especially if it is a critical equipment So I check first the connections and physical structure of the equipment. I check the condition of the gear, the conditions of the belt. until I finally found this. The belt was damaged and slipped out from the sprocket. So initially I thought it was the belt but then when I check the drive motor sometimes it's stuck that's why the tooth of the belt was damaged so in short we need to change the motor. So this is the way on how to change the motor of this telegraph. So here is the step by step procedure in changing the telegraph motor. Disconnect the wires from number 1 until number 6 from the top of the connector. Carefully cut the wiring harness on the wires. Unscrew the two clamp plates of the motor drive. Turn the motor drive so that the belt tension disappears. Remove the belt from the gear wheels and then loosen the securing nut of the small gear wheel. Carefully remove the gear wheel of the shaft. 
slowly push the motor drive from the bottom through the mounting plate. Once remove the old motor, then it's time to put the new motor. Let the new motor drive lower through the mounting plate. Place the gear wheel back on the new motor drive, but do not secure it yet. Then put back the clamping plates of the motor drive. It's slightly tight the motor drive, so it will still rotate if it's housing. Turn the motor drive so that the gear wheels move from each other. Position the pointer at the center of the display scale. Put the belt on the gear wheels with the coupler at an equal distance between the sprockets. Check if the pointer is at zero and the connection piece is centered between the gear wheels. Turn the motor drive so that the belt is tensioned. Tighten the clamp plates to secure the motor drive. Properly reconnect the wires 1 until 6 on the top of the connector. Secure the wires with the cable tie. Put the levers in neutral position and see if the pointer is still at 0 or set the pointer to 0. And then tighten properly the locking screw of the gear wheel. So after changing the motor, we tested the system, including the emergency stops. As you can see, the pointer is now changing and it is following the command. The emergency stop is functioning well also as you can see the alarm. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more video updates.